this drawing, you'll see that there are some colors added here. And if you're looking for this sort of look, we want to go to the color stage next rather than the detail stage because the color stage is going to enable um, the details to be clearer at the end because there's layers is what we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and put some color like this in. That requires a different tool that I hadn't shown you up till now and it can be obtained at your office products store where the drawing section is or in um, in Michaels. Uh, I hate to say it, but this one, I haven't found a good version that isn't kind of expensive. This is only 12 colors of the Prismacolor uh, New Pastels. They're a firm pastel, sort of like a chalk stick, and they don't break very easy and they s just blend beautifully, and they're really pure colors. Um, this little 12 stick box I think was like $17 so they're not inexpensive but you could fill this in with with um, look it would get a different look but you could fill it in with uh, marking pens you could actually color in your flowers right now with Prismacolor so or Sharpie so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one flower with the charcoal pastel and one with Sharpie so you can see what the different look would be. They're still both beautiful. So here we go with our little chalk sticks. You can see they're little sticks of color. Um, and we're going to start with the very, very center. So we're going to go with yellow and we're going to go in and that's it. And you see that there's a lot of dust in there. So we're going to take our little um, nib and we're going to get a different one without the black on it. And we're going to spread that out. I'm just going to go into the little extra areas right next to the center of the flower. Makes it look a little bit more intentional. Now I got a little yellow on there. Now we want to add a little bit more color to get a little bit more of a petal. And we're going to go with an orange as we go blending away from the yellow. Okay, and again, same story. We're gonna come back out, we're gonna blend that into the yellow and out toward the edge of the leaf. Okay, finally, the red. We're gonna grab our red, come out to the edge of the leaf. There we go. And we're gonna blend that back into the orange and out to the edge of the leaf. Now we're gonna come back in with our little eraser and clean up. And you can see the base of the color. Now, I'm gonna do the leaves on this side as well with the chalk, chalk uh, pastel or charcoal pastel. And I'm going to do two colors there. I'm gonna put a little bit of the light green in the center or new leaf color, whoops, new leaf color. And I'm gonna come back in and use the dark green for the detail on the outside. much the nitty gritty of your um, flower base. And now we're going to add a few of those little details on the charcoal side of the drawing. Remember we're going to do the color here with an alcohol marker set, something like um, like this, like the big markers. Um, these are a relatively inexpensive set of alcohol markers. You can get them pretty much anywhere, even in a local drugstore in the US anyway. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and come back in here and add a few details and they're not too different than the details we added with these curly cues. So starting at the center, anywhere at the center, it doesn't matter where, just draw it a little circle like so. And then off of that circle draw another one. 
leave them fairly open, but then it's up to your taste. You might want them to be super tight and a really complex design inside this petal. And then back out and up until we reach the end. So that's one petal. So we just continue that same process out each petal. So this is the side that is charcoal, and this is the side that we left as just the skeleton in charcoal. And we're gonna flip the picture around, and we're gonna start working on the side we wanna do with alcohol ink. I'm just gonna put a few more curlies over here in this open space. So now for the alcohol ink side, once again we're going to do some color blending and some shading, but you're not going to get the blending you get with the charcoal, chalk, the Prismacolor, the uh, pastels. So we're going to start with lighter and work our way out. Lighter being bright yellow. So we're going to do that closest to the petal right over top of our charcoal. Part of the reason I sprayed a little sealant over it was so the charcoal would not move when I put the um, alcohol ink over it. Again, no real science, only this way you can't blend it in with a nib, you have to blend with the marker itself. So markers, although less expensive, brighter colors, they're um, also in some ways more limiting in what you can actually do on your paper when you're first learning how to use them. So there's our yellow. Now I'm going to come back in and take a orangey yellow and just sort of overlap the outer part of my yellow. I'm not going to go all the way in. I'm not going to go way out on the petal either. So I'm creating an overlap. And then I'm going to come out with a true orange and overlap that a little bit. This is how we're faking out the overlap that we cannot really create directly in succession or in sync with the method used with the pastels. That looks a little bit like a stripey here, but don't worry. Now, we're gonna go back in with our orangey color that we just used and go back over the dark orange and back into the same area we were over just a minute ago. While it's still fairly fresh, don't let it sit around till tomorrow and do this. Do it right away. Because you're blending that line in. See, while the alcohol is still fresh, it hasn't completely dried. and give it some red on the tip of the petals. Going back in and over the outer edge of the orange. Believe it or not, the shadows it looks like I'm covering over still have a major effect on how this charcoal shadowing is creating depth in 
the marking pen. Without the charcoal, this would look just like an ordinary um, coloring book picture. If the charcoal is what's giving it that depth. It is different when you use it with alcohol ink, obviously, than with uh, pastels, but you know, it's all a matter of taste and what you're trying to create. Now we're going to go back in one more time, surprisingly, with that middle orangey yellow pen again. Same one we used right here. And we're going to blend the red into the orange a little bit. You might, it depends on your pens, you might need to scrub this in a little and you might need to use a blender pen. Now you can go out and get an alcohol ink blending pen. They're a colorless alcohol basically that is moving the two colors together on the page. But that's what we just accomplished with the markers themselves. So now you have Marking Pen Vivid, pastel right next to it. Also vivid, but a different texture, different style. Both beautiful though, and two different complete mediums on the same page. We're gonna do the same thing for the leaves as we did with the charcoal. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna start with a little bit of light in the center, and put in our curly Q detail. was pretty much step-by-step step easy. 